Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video with this one-handed, I'm actually recording myself type of thing. Um, we got the car up the driveway. We just put in the original intake box. It does have a crack in it, but who cares? We just try to get it up the driveway. Again, you can run it without an intake box. You can run it without coolant, but better safe than sorry. We don't want to mess up anything. Uh, we did a great job so far. Um, when I'm be we, I mean all of us, because this thing would have been nowhere close to even being where it's at right now if it wasn't for you guys. Your support is gonna basically is making this video happen. So shout out to Keys Motorsports again because guys, look what we have right here. What kind of bumper is that, y'all? Uh, M Sport. M Sport. Full M Sport. Full M Sport. What else did he send you with the M Sport bumper? He said that. Oh, I gotta show him right now. Right now, yeah, we'll show you guys that right quick. All right, guys. So these are the M four grills sent by Keys Motorsports. He didn't just send us the original grills. It comes with the car. Look at that. It's gloss painted black. gloss black. That looks so good. With the, with the thin, uh, the thin lines. The dual, the dual thing is M. Because you guys know the regular F thirties are just one, 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 one. These are the M four style ones. Just look super sick. So we're gonna go ahead and stop that on with Super the nice. bumper. And hopefully, with, with that Nesmore bumper, it's gonna help us out this whole alignment situation. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and side and just do something real quick and I'll be out in a second. Dude, what are you doing? Just showing my love, you know, to Keys More Sports. You don't have to key the damn hood. Yeah, but I also got their logo too, you know, with the, you know, the key, the nice key down there. Is that a key? That's a, you know, yeah, three, three keys right there. The whole key right there, like that. <laughs> okay, well, um, that's how much we appreciate you guys, Keys Motorsports. Um, we need a hoodie, I say. Yeah, that's pretty good handwriting, though, for a kid. It's not bad for kids. Right. It's pretty good. It's kind of crazy, bro. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Actually, before we go ahead and unbox the bumper, um, I want to mention all of you guys who've won the giveaway. So I did a little bit of a short giveaway with Keys Motorsports. All you got to do is like the video and comment down below your Instagram. Make sure to smash this video for giveaways down in the future, some more. Um, but for all the winners, the winners will be announced in the end of this video, so make sure to stick around. When we finish installing the bumper and probably get some lunch right after that, we'll go ahead and tell you guys all the winners who won uh, the key tags and the decals for Keys Motorsports. All right guys, so it came with this piece right here, which you're not really too familiar with what this thing is, but it, it's the exact same size as this, so I don't know, does this go inside of this or this replaces this? It looks bigger. It's bigger? Yeah. So it goes on top? Maybe it goes around it. We'll figure that out. More to come, more to come. But uh, right now, we're just gonna show you guys everything the packaging comes with, but so far, they get a lot of stuff. Look at that stabilizer, boys. You know your boy's gonna step up his production. And I'm figuring out what's going on with this camera and why it's only recording at 720. It's a DSLR, so we should figure that out soon. All right, guys, so my brother has a bumper right now. We just took the uh, thumbnail picture, and uh, we're gonna try to figure out where all this stuff goes. This is a this is a lot of things. I don't, I didn't know a bumper has all this stuff. Bumper had a work assembly process, but this is nice. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. I mean, this is like a whole assembly on its own, and that that just comes to show that when you guys buy an M Sport F30 bumper, make sure you get all this stuff, or you're actually you're missing out. Like he didn't just give us stuff for the bumper; he actually gave us stuff with the car. I just want to show you guys this. This goes in front of the box, in front of the V brace. That's literally everything to make with the that make the fit perfect. And he also got us those. What, what is it called? Uh, air, air, air ducts, right? Air ducts. Yeah. And also, he also got us two air ducts for those. And I don't, we got some more parts we don't even know about. So, overall, I'm. Yeah, but uh, moral of the story is, guys, get it. Uh, make sure if you buy this bumper, which you know, obviously, recommend from Keys Motorsports. Link down below in the description. <laughs> um, if you get this bumper anywhere else, make sure it comes with all this stuff because then you have to go buy all this stuff, and God knows how much all this stuff costs alone. So we're gonna go ahead and start assembling this and then uh, come back together in a second. They even sent, um, I don't know I don't know if you guys know what this is, but if you have front sensors, when you get a bumper, and normally you have to figure out a way to attach the sensors like on your own, but it actually comes with like OEM bracket styles where you just put the 3M on here and you could put the sensor straight through it. So that is crazy, that's awesome. So we're, we have everything, it even comes with the, you guys know when I bought my M Sport bumper on my 335 over there, that bumper didn't come with anything. I spent over 200 bucks on just grills, pieces to assemble it. Um, and I can't even open this. I'll come back to you guys when we have all that assembled with the sensors in. You guys will know what I mean. All 
I told you guys our old fog lights would come in handy. You just, there's two tabs, you put them in right there, and then the screw holes line up, fairly simple, and this thing lines up right here, bolt this down, and uh, it bolts onto the bumper. So, just like that, it's pretty easy. That's the first one down. This side is complete. Ugh, cut back to you guys when I finish this one, because this is a pain in my ass. You guys let us know if you guys want to see us paint it, which they don't, I don't know if you guys want to see us go Arab style and us try to paint it, or if you guys want us to just take it down to our shop and get it professionally painted, that's all you guys, we personally don't care, but if you guys want to see us try to paint it, and uh, worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, we'll just sand it, you guys let us know. Alright guys, so we're taking out the air ducts right now, we're going to use the ones that it came with. So, uh, to remove the air ducts, there's two clips, one there, one there. And then there's the one that screws inside the Vanguard. So we're just gonna do all three of those, take off those three clips and just replace it. So we're just gonna do a short time lapse, but that's pretty self-explanatory. It just goes like uh, that. All right guys, with the new air ducts, you do need to install this new piece. And we couldn't figure that out what that was for the longest time. We thought it was that, the top piece right here. But apparently it's the bottom piece that we have that's broken. So ours is broken uh, from the accident, of course. So this is gonna work out perfectly. We can replace the old one. So it'll allow this part to uh, you know, latch onto that real easy. So see it's broken on this side too, doesn't even work. Um, on this one, you can see the whole mechanism still there. So we're gonna go ahead and install this guy. And once we install that, the air scoop should just line up perfectly. So that just worked out brilliantly. Let's do it. All right guys, to remove the lower radiator support duct, um, we do need to remove this bar, which is held down by an 8 mil. So my brother's gonna go ahead and remove that, and then uh, we should get this bar out, and we can take that whole ugly, crashed up uh, Vanguard or whatever, and put the new one in. All right, go ahead and remove the bar, big boy. Ooh. All right, the bar comes out. And now, I think you can just pull that out, right? Bam! Out with the garbage. Look at that guy, the tabs is completely just shot on this one. It's not supposed to be like that. Oh yeah, a lot of broken shit. Just don't worry about that. Man, guys, you can even see that this bar wasn't even bent through the axle. Like, it was only top damage, which we got super lucky on. I'm gonna go ahead and help my brother put that in the car real quick. Ugh. All right, guys, Ugh. the new centerpiece is in and the new grill, uh, air ducts are in. So that aligns perfectly. We finally have tabs. So this thing can go on there perfectly. Oh um, man, it's a little, a little bit dark down there. But yeah, so now we can finally put this thing back, put the V-brace back. You guys are saying wrap the V-brace. We don't have any good wrap right now. We'll take off the V-brace down the road. It's not that hard to remove. But uh, yeah, we will do that down the road. It's finally assembled everything. Everything looks great. Uh, air ducts, bottom part, all this stuff's on there. Finally, everything cl clips properly. So, at this point, guys, we're testing the bumper. I'm gonna see if the headlights and uh, how that bar, everything else down here uh, looks. So this is a uh, first shot, so take one. That's first test fit. That looks like beast mode activated. <laughs> that looks amazing. We're just gonna have to go ahead, hook up the fog lights, Another time lapse because we got a lot more things to do. All right, guys. So my brother's gonna go ahead. He's gonna uh, remove the wheel well, and he's gonna remove the wheel because we're having an issue with our headlight. This bolt is not lining up properly. So we need to make sure that lines up properly to make sure the headlight is up and where it needs to be. So this one will look good as well. This one's also off as you can see by the screw. You can see these ones are looking pretty good, but this one's completely off as well. So we're having an issue with alignment. What we're thinking is we're gonna go ahead and loosen up all the screws. We're gonna go ahead and try to test fit the bumper and then line up the screws accordingly. So after the I'm just gonna wait for my brother to uh, remove this wheel real quick. Actually, before we do that, guys, we're gonna just put in the grills so we can see how the headlight lines up with the grills as well. Again, shout out to Keys Motorsports for setting these M4 style uh, kidney grills. We need to get a logo on this car as well. So that goes in over here. Oh my God. That looks beautiful. On to the next one. That looks mean. That actually looks like an M4. Man, Damn. that looks crazy. Damn. Damn. All right. 
Well, back to the headlight situation. All right guys, so while I'm messing with the bumper on my brother's side, uh, I was working on the bottom trying to figure out what this long piece does. And I figured out what it does. When I was trying to tighten up the bottom, the screws on the bottom of the bumper to the Vanguard, the screws were not lining up no matter what I do. Unless I shifted the whole bumper, it just didn't look right. So I was like, you know what? I went ahead, looked in the box, and I found the super long strip that I remember. I was like, yeah, you know what? That's the piece. So that strip, you screw it onto the Vanguard, and then the screws on that strip are gapped over to fit the bumper. So let me show you guys what I mean exactly. So I added this plastic thing right here. As you guys can see, this plastic thing onto the Vanguard. And this plastic thing will allow me to screw into the bumper so everything will line up properly. So I went ahead and put the screws in for it and uh, let's go ahead and just tie it up to the bumper now. All right guys, we've been working out the alignment. Um, so this is what we came up with. Dude, guys, what, by the way, my brother isn't thinking about it. Like, what if, just hypothetically, we were to wrap this car? Hypothetically, I know, right? If we do Nardo gray with gloss black accents, like, just let me know what you guys think down in the description. I mean, in the comments, if you guys don't want that, it's whatever. We'll paint match it gray, and, you know, we'll roll with it. Um, it's going to be obviously still beautiful, but Nardo gray and gloss black, we're just thinking it's going to be killer. Um, but, yeah, guys, look at the look at the gap right here. We've been working on it. Looks really good. Uh, the only issue we're kind of, you know, kind of tripping about is this fender gap. We're not understanding it too well. Once we get the hood, uh, we will at least see what we're off around and adjust the headlight accordingly. But right now, guys, it looks really good. So um, that's this side. This side, we're going to have to take it back apart again, work on that. We'll show you guys the finished product. Um, you guys, we've been working literally the last, I don't know. Yeah, so we'll get back to you guys uh, once the bumper's assembled. So the car is done. My brother's just putting on the tire. Look at the, the gaps and everything, guys. I think that's I think that's a job well done. I don't know. I don't know. What, how do you say that? Yeah? What? Uh, the, the whole new accent thing? Uh, Famous England one. I'll do you one better, mate. I'll fix you up OEM, Habibi. I'll fix you up OEM, Habibi. So look at that, guys. Bam. That gap. Oh, Lord. Oh man, you guys can only get this done at your local Nor India uh, BMW. What's it called? Hospital? Hospital. BMW Hospital. Nowhere else. Um, besides Keys Motorsports. Link down below, guys, for the bumper. <laughs> Keys Motorsports really hooked up. Yeah, guys, whatever, what you're seeing right here, this whole front end, would not be here if it wasn't for them. My brother is broke as a joke right now. We're gonna be. Okay, he has. $20 my bank account right now. I'm sorry. He can afford four Chalupa boxes. But regardless, this this would have been possible. So shout out to him. Make sure you guys check him out down below. He has everything BMW, and I'm sure he has a couple other things for other uh, cars as well. But yeah, mostly BMW, especially the F chassis as well. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking on to the end of the video. Um, we're going to be finally giving away some of these key tags and these decals. I announced in the last video that I'll be saying it in this video, and I completely forgot, so I'm announcing it now. Don't worry. In the same video, I'm going to be giving away five key tags and seven decals. The first five people I choose will be getting both, and then the last two will be getting the decals. So without further ado, let me go through my phone and uh, pick out a couple of you guys. Now, I think it's only fair that I go ahead and pick out the first person who commented their Instagram uh, as one of the winners because, you know, he was the first person uh, to comment on the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose from newest comments first. You're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom here. Oh man, there's some serious Wi-Fi issues right now. I'm gonna keep scrolling, keep scrolling. You guys absolutely demolish the comment section. You guys are insane. I'm gonna keep scrolling here. All right, so we got hi, which is not your Instagram, my bud. But we do have to OC underscore 335i. Um, so shout out to you, uh, you're one of the winners. I'm gonna go ahead and just scroll some more. Stop right there. Uh, Corey Lee 96, shout out to you. You're the second winner. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up some more. I'm gonna stop right there. So uh, R Perdinkes, name's gonna be right here. Shout out to you, my guy. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll a little bit more. Um, we got Sean, Sean Dadon, really good at this. That is the fourth winner for the key tags. I believe we have one more for the key tags. Uh, let's scroll up a little bit higher this time. And let's pick, okay, so Eric Hamel, Eric Hamel, Eric, uh, shoot. 
Shoot. Shout out to you, my guy. You are the final uh, key tag winner. Now I just got to pick out two more decal winners. Yeah, all you guys that want a key tag, get a decal as well. So, Candy Apple E60, shout out to you. Just want a decal. And uh, where's the last guy? We'll just go ahead and go with uh, Sway Low E90. So, shout out to you as well. You guys, the names are right here. You guys want some decals. If you guys are enjoying these builds, make sure to smash that like button. I'll be doing more of these giveaways with other companies when I'm partnering with them some more. I just want to give, again, a huge shout out to Keys Motorsports. I can't stress enough how much they're helping with this build. My brother is not in the best financial situation to build a car, but they made it happen. So this car is getting built way faster than it should be. And if it wasn't for Keys Motorsports, none of this would be possible. So shout out to them. I'll be getting you guys' decals and stuff out right now. It is the morning. The next day, so I'm going to go upstairs right now, edit this into the video, and I'm about to head out and get these mailed out to you guys. And for those of you guys that purchased the decals in the last week, it's, uh, so I'll be also trying to get these out uh, with the decals. All right, guys. Love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.